Hi, welcome to Blue Prism Tutorials. My name is Amir. This is part 18, working with process stage in process. In this session, we will learn how to work with the process stage. Process stage is used to call or invoke the other process in the main page. Let me switch to Blue Prism Virtual Workforce. Before going to start this session, please watch part 16 and part 17 of the Blue Prism. In that session, we learned how to work with the action stage and also we learned how to work with the pay stage. In this session, I'm going to create a new process. I'm going to process, create process. I'm just going to give it a name as practice session for process stage and I'm going to click on next and I'm just giving the description and then I'm going to click on finish. Let me double click on the practice session for process stage. In this session, what I'm going to do, I'm going to call the existing process. How I'm going to do that? I'm going to use the from the stage by using process stage. If you see in the stage toolbar that I'm having the process. By using this process, we can call an existing process. Okay, how we can go ahead and we can do that. Okay, let me see that. So if I'm going to double click on the process, I'm just going to give it as calling action stage. Okay, so in this one, you can see all the, what are the existing processes that we are having. We can go ahead and we can call it, right? Right now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to call action stays, correct? Okay, and I'm going to click on okay. So let me go ahead and let me link from start to calling action stays, that is nothing but the process, and process to end. Okay, so if you see what is the action stays will do, let me double click on that. In this thing that we are going to, you know, calculating the results of the students on that, that we will get the results in the output in the student model. Let me go back to my process stage. If you see, I'm going to call this action stage from here, right? And what is the output that I are having? How would I know what is the output that I'm going to get it from the practice session for action stage? Let me make some small changes in my action stage. Okay, let me go to end. Let me go to the output. I'm going to add an output. What is the name? I'm saying as students results. Where I'm going to returning it. If you see, I'm going to add this student results in the end stage. Okay, I'm. if you see over here, this is the end properties. I'm going to add over there. What is the data type? I'm going to give it the collection. And what is the output? Get the values from student mode get the values from student results in the collection. As it is that I'm going to fetch all the values from my existing practice session for the action state, right? If you see, I'm going to save it, okay? I'm just simply saying as changes for students and I'm going to save it. Now, let me back, let me go to once again for the practice session for the process stage. Now, if you see over here, what is the outputs that I'm having? If you see, when I have added in this existing practice session for action stage, automatically you are going to get the results over there. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to store in some way the output where I can store by just clicking on the store in, I can get the values, okay? And what is that? That the collections that I'm going to save it and then click on okay. Now you can see the output over here. What is the output that we are going to get it from the existing process that will get all the values over here in the student results. Let me go ahead, let me execute that. So if you see on the bottom side, each and every step, see what are the action states that we are having set connectivity to DB process and all the, what are the steps that we are having in the action stays that is nothing but the process, what are the name that we have given that all the output that we got it into the student results, right? So. What we're going to do, let me double click on the student results and let me go to the uh, current values. If you see, what are the values we had checked out in the previous session? We're having all the values over here, correct? Let me uh, go ahead and let me click OK. That the thing is nothing but I'm going to call existing process in the current process by using process stays. Okay, in a real time example that you are having any kind of Gmail or something else that you want to call, you don't want to disturb that existing functionality or existing process, then you are going to use the use process stage and that you are going to make some manipulations on that one and then you are going to display on the process stage. 
Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.